it's Diana Willett. How are you? Today we're making a delicious Italian meal called veal scallopini. Now, I went to the butcher and I got the veal. They're veal cutlets and they have to be cooked. They have to be very, very thin. If, if they're not too thin, you've got to pound them thin. And I just dredged it in some flour, salt and pepper. All right, now here's the pan. I put three tablespoons of vegetable oil in here and one tablespoon of butter. And we're going to cook these things. Put them a little higher because we're going to cook it for a minute. Because if you cook it too much, it's going to get very, very tough. And then we're going to take it out of the pan and then we're going to make the sauce. It won't take long. And I have another little piece here. Okay. I'll let that cook for a minute or so. Another plate. Another plate. Um, a few minutes. And that's it. A bit more salt and pepper on here. A quarter of a, a teaspoon of salt and just a little bit of pepper. very carefully. I'm going to get a little brown. I don't want to put it any higher than that. I'm afraid I'm going to burn it. So. It's a very, very good meal. I have some rice here. Yellow rice. Delicious meal. Nice Italian food. It's light too. It's a light meal for the summer. It's not heavy. Okay, wait, wait one minute. Let it Cooking much, but they're nice and thin. Another few minutes. I'm going to cook a little bit more than uh, a minute on top for each one because. You have to get brown. That's very hot. Very hot rice. It's uh, yellow rice. It goes good with the meal. All right, now. One more minute. out of the pan, let it rest because we're going to make a nice sauce. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pour that oil out of the pan. We don't want that oil. Hot, so I gotta be very careful here. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to deglaze this pan. Put 
you know, 400. Now, this is the line. Stir it with getting all the nice juices from the bottom. Raise that pan. And, um, lemon juice here. Let me just get the rest of my recipe here and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Okay, I'll let that deglaze. Let it boil and deglaze. Which means I'm getting all the delicious juices from the bottom. And we're going to reduce this sauce for a few minutes. Onion juice. Chicken broth. It up to 400 now. Yeah, it's up to 400. Let it cook. Let it boil. I'll be right back. Papers. Let's cook. Make sure it gets nice and hot. I can get a little hotter than that. Yeah. Make sure it's nice and hot and it comes out good. Wait for this to boil. Almost done, so it's not that bad. No. He's going to show you how it's boiling there. Boils good. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take this meat and turn it into the pan to reheat it. Make sure it cooks into the sauce. Make a nice sauce with this. Papers in here and chicken broth come out delicious. All right. Just reheat it for a few minutes. The wine's in there, the chicken broth, the capers, the lemon juice. Gonna be delicious. in the pan. All right. Three tablespoons of butter. Let's 
stir it around until the butter melts. Stir that good. And about a tablespoon of flour, a tablespoon and a half of flour. And what we're doing is we're trying to make a thick sauce. We'll stir it very well. Keep stirring and stirring and make a nice thick sauce. Everything melts good. Get some parsley in there. Too much, about a, ta about a tablespoon of parsley. Let's keep stirring it. Make sure the butter melts here. Do it. I'm going to add this back in the sauce to make it thick. Keep it nice and hot. Okay. Messy here. Stirring it. That sauce is nice and thick. See how it's getting nice and thick now? Okay, now I'm going to get my tongs here. Get my plate. Okay. Let's take one little piece here. Get a stir here. Put a little bit of sauce on here. A little bit of rice. Fork and a knife, and I'll tell you how it came out. Remember, this is veal. Absolutely delicious. Very, very good. All right, that's it. I'll see you again next week with another delicious recipe. Bye-bye.